Hello and welcome to my series, Getting Good. In these videos, I will be documenting my progress as a PVMer, going from rather inexperienced to hopefully Inferno. I will be taking on just about every single boss there is in old school RuneScape, and to decide what boss I take on in each video, I spin a wheel. The bosses on the wheel will get progressively harder over time, Hopefully, even the early bosses will teach me a little bit about PVMing. I do hope you enjoy watching my progression over time. Wait, cut, cut this, cut, cut this, somebody cut this. Today, we will be killing Krill Tutsiroth or something. I have not been looking forward to this. Unfortunately for the God Wars bosses, the precedent has been set. I will need to kill krill 50 times in this video so krill will attack with both mage and melee although his melee attacks are more common um this is my first setup i'm not really married to it just going with protect from melee and then magic defense i will say i am on task obviously since i have that slayer helmet on i don't think I want to do this not on task. I don't even want to do this on task. So, like I said, I'm not sure if this is the most optimal setup or not. I will have to adjust based on trips. I could try different techniques. If I get one or two kill trips, I will get very annoyed and want to try something else. So we will see if that bears out. Um, the kill itself is pretty simple. It's just BGS spec into arc light to attack step under to attack step under to attack step under but while i'm doing that krill could be hitting me with his mage attack or he could do a special attack that drains prayer and hits me pretty hard and his uh his minions are hitting me as well so basically it's just gonna be a bunch of food eating i think at least the kill count for Zamorak isn't too bad. There's just four imps that you just cycle through. This might take a while overall. We'll see. Combat achievements, I'm not too worried about it on this one. I'll get some incidentally. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll get the 50 and the Demon Bane weaponry. Um, we'll see what else I get. I will also be using the Ward of Arceus spell in the Arceus spellbook. It'll just uh, reduce the damage given to me. So hopefully I can stay for more than two kills. That's all, yeah, that's all I can ask. Okay. I got one hit, so I'm gonna go ahead and not auto retaliate. That's ideal. Oh, I didn't do the spell. This is what you call beginner's luck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Are we risking it? Of course we're risking it. Should we risk it? No. Am I? 
Oh god. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Give me the kill. Give me the kill. Give it to me. <laughs> oh. All right. I got my three kill trip. Huge. Huge for the account. I hate this boss. What a trip. Great. Okay. I am going to try something different because I am tired of two to three kill trips. So I am going to do a ranged method where essentially uh, I'm right clicking altar, right clicking door, and going back and forth. I have not done anything like this ever before. I will probably die. I am okay with that. I have to try to get better, so if I don't do it, then I'll never learn it. If I'm good at it, maybe I'll just get a 20 kill kill uh, 20 kill trip out of the way immediately. Actually, I don't have the supplies for that. I'm my supplies are assuming that I'm gonna mess up a lot, honestly. So it is what it is. If I get one kill, I'll be happy with that. If I don't die, I'll be happy with that. Well, if I get one kill and I also don't die, I'll be happy with that. This is gonna be a mess. Uh, if I do happen to get kills, I brought a mage switch and blood barrage in between kills and the blowpipe to kill on the mage minion special attack. <laughs> Oh god, I messed up already. I don't know what that mess was. That was certainly not the method. It's really clear. Alright, this is almost certainly going to be a tally out, but let's, uh, let's go for it. I don't know how I survived any of that. I did not red X. I'd rather not come back for my shit. All right, attempt number two. Let's hope this goes a little bit better. Dude. Oh. No way, I 
mess this up. Dude. I'm going for it one more time. I feel like I owe it to myself. I don't know why I owe it to myself. It's going to go horribly as per norm, but let's try it again. That was a lot better. Probably last kill here. Nine kill trip? That's uh, so much better. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that I came back. Yep, nine kill trip. Awesome. All right. So we are going to go ahead and try another different method. It's going to be the same thing as the first method, but I'm going to be praying mage instead and tanking the melee hits from Krill. Um, from what I can tell, like maybe this is going to be more consistent three kill trips, but in like less RNG base. I'm not expecting it to be better than the first option, but uh, hopefully it's less rage inducing at the very least. Sometimes that's good enough, you know? The meta should just be like the least stress, right? Either way, if it's close, I'm, I may prefer this. Uh, another thing on this is since I'm praying mage, the melee special attack that hits through prayer does not trigger. So that only triggers when you're protecting melee. So while most of the hits are melee, at least we're not getting the most devastating hit. Um, but... You can still hit up to 46, I believe, on melee. So, you can still get bopped pretty good here. Um, but I'm also back on the ward of Arceus spell. That would at least mitigate a little bit.
Yeah, that method sucks. I'm sorry. All right, so we're back at the normal setup with Mage being tanked and Melee being protected. So we have the stacking potential higher again. Although when I was protecting Mage and tanking Melee, I was kind of getting hit pretty hard too. So I could get stacked either way. Overall, I uh, I would go back to the 6-0 or door altar method, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I am at kill count 40 or so now, and I just kind of want to get it over with uh, without dying. Uh, so I will go ahead and finish this up with the first method that I was using. Uh, oops. I forgot to record this, but I just did the Demonic Showdown Combat Achievement which is killing Krill while all of the bodyguards are are down. Um, not a hard one. I just did it on my second kill of that trip. Mostly just takes a lot of food, but basically I, I killed Krill and then got the bodyguards down to a low health, but did not finish them. And then Krill spawns again. I... Um, get Krill down to a low health, and then I go and go ahead and kill all of the bodyguards, um, and then Krill, if that makes sense. It wasn't too hard, um, but it is just a hard CA anyway, so. All right, that is 50 kill count. All right, so Krill is done. I got to 50 kills. We ended up doing five combat achievements, which I'm very happy with. Obviously, I was always going to get the 50 times, uh, kill fi uh, Krill 50 times. And obviously, I was always going to get the Demon Bane weapon because I was using Arclight. Uh, the Yar No More was passive. If you do enough kills, you'll get that. Um, or if you just do the Prey Mage, you'll get that as well. Uh, Demonic Showdown, like I said, I had to actively get. Um, not a hard one to get, just take some setting up, I guess, would be the way to put it. Demonic Defense was not one that I figured I would get. I did, did get a kill without taking any melee hits. That's one elite. I'm happy with that. Yeah, this was the tar hardest one so far. Um, I mean... If I'm just, if I was just going for like 50 kills of Krill and just doing it like this this setup, it wouldn't have been hard at all. But I also wouldn't have gotten anything out of it. As annoying as it was, I'm not going to get better at this game without dying a lot. That's just sort of how it goes. And I would rather it not be to like a God Wars dungeon boss that feels like I don't know, feels like I shouldn't be dying, but but I don't know, every boss kind of has that potential in this game. So, let's spin a wheel. All right, we are back at tier F, surprisingly. Yeah, I could go from uh, God Wars Dungeon to Obor. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But 50-50 um, here, tier skip or Obor. Uh, I'm almost running out of tier D, too, if I get a tier skip. So we'll see what I get. Honestly, like, I kind of hope that I'm, like, doing, like, Inferno and Obor is still an option. Tier D, uh, we have three left. We have Grotesque Guardian, Seracnus, and Scorpia. And there's still a tier skip that I'm going to keep on there. Uh, having two tier skips on here feels like too many. So we're just doing one. Oh, 
awesome, Seracnus. I will take that. Appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe if you do so feel. Have a good day.